Hi guys, welcome to Lifestyle and Diary Model. My name is Irene, Irene J, and with me I have. Hi, my name is Precious Okoye, and it's such an honor to be here. Thank you. Okay, so if you guys don't know Precious already, this is like she's <laughs> one of Nigeria's top models. Like she works for big brands, and you know, so I just say let me borrow, let me borrow our time, oh Precious, mm -hmm. and borrow our time. Just come and talk to us about different stuff about modeling. So today we're talking about modeling basically, okay. and we just want to know what it's like to be a model. What you know the stress, the pain, people's perceptions. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be answering some questions like, you know, do you, do models sleep with photographers? Do you know? Do you get to keep the clothes? Whatever it is, and we're going to be talking about different aspects of modeling. Like, for instance, she's a commercial model. Like, and me, I am, you know, an all around that model. I do all of them, but you know, she's and she's a fashion model as well. You guys can check our Instagram page at Precious Okoye on IG because like she's Thank you. Alright, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So I, I don't know if you've joined this um the pleasure challenge because uh, when you get all this bobo that you know it's my name is It's not bobo, it's true also my name, talk about my name is Precious. My name is Precious Okoye and I'm a model. Yes, I'm a Nigerian model. Yes, yes ma'am. Alright, so if this looks like something you're interested in then definitely keep watching. If it's your first time watching my channel, I'm so excited that you're here. And if it's your second or third or whatever time, thank you for being a part of this family. So if you haven't already, subscribe! Hit that subscribe button right now and give this video a big thumbs up because you know, I've got you with quality content, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get right into this. Okay. So Precious is going to tell us, because she's like the star model here. Okay. She's going to tell us how, like, how did you start modeling? Like, what, what was, did you always want to model? Yes, yes, of course. I have always known I was going to be a model. So basically, it all started, you know. So you know, not always know, so no worries. <laughs> Those days, whenever I come back from school, from, yeah, secondary school. So I always find myself with something going about writing my assignments. I just pick up my mom's makeup and her clothes and I play dress up in her room. You know, just try to do something and I take nice pictures with my Nokia T3. I think it's the three. The I three ten. The three ten. I remember. There's no camera. There's no. The three ten. The three ten. You have camera. You don't have camera. But it's express it's music. And or then CK, there's the flip up one shot. So I just take nice pictures. All I want to do is just to post on Facebook because then Facebook was the in thing for us. Then yes. So you know, and then it was just like that. I was just getting into the whole modeling stuff, and I was really, really loving it. And then also this kind of school I went to, you know, always having these Indomie tables, all these brands coming around to to um, look for cool kids to actually work with. So it all started from there. So definitely, I've always known I was going to be a model. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Me, I don't always know. For those of you that know me, um, I don't always know. I, well, I've always been tall and thin. You know how it's tall and thin. It's true okay. now. Who always tell you, ah, you're tall, you should be a model. But the truth of the matter is that modeling is not just about you're tall, you should be a model. Oh, you're slim, you be. It's more than that. It takes commitment, it takes dedication, yeah, it takes work. Well, hard work. Least, well, there are plus size models. Well, you yeah. have to really, really look good and fit the brief. To you even have to up. know the type of modeling that you want to do. Mm -hmm. If you want to, like, for instance, me, I'm a fashion model and I'm also a commercial model. I do editorials and all that. So I can fit into all this type of thing because I'm slim. I can walk on the runway, you know. And my type of struggles are even different from people like this. I don't know if people like this have struggles because <laughs> if you look at them, oh, they're the right please. size, right height, oh my right God. everything. And Please. One thing that annoys me is that okay, not annoys me, that's just the way it is. Nigerian brands, they like like you know girls, yes. girls in bomb bomb, girls yeah. in Yeah, oh my god, please, you like, you don't don't mind. Her. It's not that you just don't have to have everything, but you should just have the just have the right body to fit into. Yeah, well, the so those of us that were like, okay, so look at me now. Oh please, <laughs> how does she look? Look at okay. Wait. Look normal. What? I don't understand. It's not about okay. Wait, she let, let me explain what I'm saying. So, so you said I'm fast. No, I'm not 
for me. Are you for you for my weakness? So you should call me. I'm not calling you for my love. See what I'm saying? As okay, I'm a size six model now, and I'm you know aspiring to like go international and okay. sign on that agency abroad. So we're not aspiring so, to go international. No, what's what I'm saying? Like your own, you you're not doing high fashion. I want to be a high fashion model, and my own is different. Like I must not get past this um, body measurement. Do you understand? Okay. You you have the freedom to even get to size sixteen if you want. They will no, still love you. No, okay, way. no, 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 get no size, way. You know. So basically, I am a commercial model. I model for brands, big brands in Nigeria and in diaspora. And I also do fashion. So I'm a perfect size 8 model. I think being, if you want to be a very good model, you also want to play the grow very well. You should be between the size of 4 to 8. 8 is perfectly fine, except you want to be a plus size model. But I'm a perfect size 8 model. I have bum bum small. It's not small. Uh, <laughs> it's not small. No, don't mind her. But at least I'm in the skinny. At least I'm in the slim category. So don't mind her. If she's calling me fat, I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, not the good point is that we're making money. That's the most well, important thing. Yeah. yeah. So about that. Now that we're talking about making money, like mm. people just expect that. Oh, I saw you on this. Oh, I saw you on that. You expect that. Oh, your account to be flowing with millions. Like. <sighs> I don't know, contrary to what people think, okay. for let me say high fashion at the very least, okay. at the moment here in Nigeria, how much do people get paid? Mm. It's, not, it's not a lot. You have to like hustle out a lot of jobs, like make sure you are getting this one, you are there, that one, you are there, that, so that your money is accumulating. For, for like people, like that's why I would, if I want to advise no. anybody to do money, I would say go into commercial money because that is where the money actually is. Like, the money is everywhere. Look at my babe. The money is everywhere. Look at, look at, look at. Can't you see this money? I, I, money. Oh my god. Please stop. Are you saying I look like money right now? See, please you look like money you yourself. Well. Please. You look like money Look at me. Yourself. Play t-shirts. <laughs> Don't even know if my body shirt is like money. Let's not play this game. Look at, look at this. Let's not play this game. So basically, um, the modeling industry, it's, it's, I think it's what you, you know, what you way you brand yourself and the way you carry yourself. Well, At first though, it's never that rude because you get to do a lot of free jobs, you get to you know do the hustle, ooh, you also have you to do free jobs. Oh my god, no I work there. <laughs> no, I work there. Because some people think that when you go to a certain uh, level you don't you, no, you never do free jobs. I I think me I did free jobs. I think in fact in fact I did I did free jobs that you have to come in free job. Like you just call me that. But you know when you do things over time and then you get better and then you work on yourself. So I was using those three jobs like you know build work yourself, on, build myself, yeah. build my self esteem, build my confidence, build my poise and everything. And people think that being a model is just you being in front of the camera. No way, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of dedication, it's a whole lot of you know, you just have to just carry yourself. Because reality is different from camera. So you will, you just have to you know know how to bring the camera at every Time. You just have to be ready at every time. At every instant. Has Karen called you before around let's say 10 pm? Say they want you to be on set tomorrow for so and so or they need you what to take pictures and nah, 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 send to them or see one thing is not easy. Some po- you can be sleeping on your bed like someone just call you, it just it's, just it's call you just send like video. That. So you you have to be that good, you always have to be on point, you always have to be extra in fact like, I want you good. You're a good girl. Exactly. You're good to go. What are so, you things you need to invest in as a model? Um, primarily, I think it's your attitude, your skin, your skin, like, your attitude. Your skin must be on point. You know, I didn't just get here. It, it took time. I so hard. <laughs> you stop all that. So, in fact, when I was doing building, when I was doing building my career as a Nigerian as a model, I I was even doing, you know some side hustle too, like I was doing a bit of ushering jobs and I was doing that while I was in school so it, it wasn't, it was never that rosy so getting here you just have to invest a whole lot in yourself attitude, education, your skin, education. your hair you have to smell nice, you have to look good you also know how to, you also have to learn how to you know, people's management so some people get jobs but they don't get to be called back because their character, their attitude is so terrible. Like you see this person, she's really pretty and everything. Yeah. And then after that particular shoot, the client is like, 
Please don't call that girl back again, babe. Not well, what I said. Most jobs, I get a lot of models hitting me up on Instagram. Oh, precious, I really admire you. How do you do it? How do you get all these jobs? How do you do that? And like, I told them, most of my jobs, like, it's five percent of my jobs are referrals. I go for audition, quite for right. But you know, I always get a call back. I don't know why I get this call back often. But most people just lie. Nice. They lie. They lie. They lie. They lie. They lie. They lie. No. So let's let's talk about some of the things that people ask us randomly okay. that we're just like, oh my god. Uh, mm -hmm. The very first one is precious. Let me just use my name, Irene. Irene, please come and hook me up. Come and come and. Uh, what day we say? Come and link me. Come and link. Come and connect me. Come and connect no. me. <laughs> me, me. I just look at me. Me. I need connection. As I need connection. Like, cause I'm like, I need help too. We all, Don't look up, like, we all, we all need help. How people get jobs is, is very different. Sometimes it is brands that reach out to you. For some of us, some people oh, brand all brands always reach out to them. For me personally, I hit brands up. Like I'll send them a mail, send them a, a DM, you know, I, oh, I would love to, I am a model, I do this, I do that, I'd love to work with you and so on and so And then, I mean, it's now this grace of God, or maybe because I'm... So, me, I don't have grace of God. No, we all have grace of God, don't say that, please. It's not that, but I get a lot of things like, Precious, how do you, come and link me up, come and connect. My dear, it's not by connection, no, it's not. Even me, I'm looking for that connection. We all need help, you're not looking for connection. I'm looking for help too. So, that's what I'm saying. I always tell them, start somewhere. You have to, yeah. you have to make a, make the first step. And then every other thing will come together. If you're destined for that, too. If you're not, there's no waste of time. But you know, it's not even about, sometimes it's not even about that. You see some people's page. You see, oh, I want to model for, on your profile. You don't even have one single picture that you, you yeah, are doing. Yeah, those are people are not to put in the work. Quality pictures that clients can look at and say, oh, okay, it's not easy. this person can probably... Let me tell you, it's not easy. Let me tell you, it's not easy, but if you want, if you really want to do it, you will get it done. Right. I remember when I was in Samsung, oh, Samsung was I using still, that I couldn't really take good pictures like that. Yeah, but I still should make sure that I will hit off photographer in here. I have this concept in mind. Though. I want to do this thing. Do you mind? Let's collaborate. Let's do this thing. Yeah. Let's, it's not everybody that will accept for collaboration, but that's the beauty of collaboration. Yeah, you, you need this. I need this. Let's make it work. Yeah. But when you're going to purchase the career schedule, collaborations, please. you'll be begging you, Auntie, please. Auntie, please. Please, effort. please effort. don't say that. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> it's, it's not by connection, it's just you just start somewhere. Yeah, you know? when I even started, so I was using I was using face model, makeup as well, using my face, mm. and I was getting better. And I, I, I went for auditions, I attended auditions back to back. So, all this so people don't want to um, um, go for auditions, they want to go for maybe glue or something like a big brand. Oh, don't want to please do forget about it because it's not ready for auditions. In fact, then, Seb, I remember with, you know, entering the bus, you know, that bus, enter the Lagos bus, if you enter the Lagos bus, you're going to come to And then, you will now do your makeup, and everything, mm. looking on point, and then someone will just step on you. Or someone will just use that and hit you because they want to let you change from bus conductor, and your makeup is damaged. Then, it was all part of the struggle. But, still keep on pushing. Yeah, still please, keep. please move. Like, just always show up. No matter what. What are the most annoying things that clients say to you? I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about clients. Like some so there are some really ridiculous clients that can just um, can I say I don't know. Can you can you come and do the list this this? Oh this, yes, this, I, this. Have I have, have clients. I have clients that <laughs> I don't know, so I know where I'm going. I have clients that their budget is as small as um how would I explain it? Their budget is very very tiny, very tiny. like they can say but let's give give numbers. Can I say, oh, I need you to do. Do you know somebody that hit me up for this thing before? I want you to represent my brand for this in a video shoot. You know, we'll be in the spa. You do this, you do that. They listen all the things that we do: video shoot, photo shoots for for branding. For um, they want to put it in the newspaper. Ask how much the guy said I wanted to pay. Seven k. He said that the two k on top is for my transport. Seven k. Yo, I think you're doing better. <laughs> oh, do you know what I want you to remove clothes? And so you want to shoot it, you know, you're, you just say to like, okay, I want, I'm shooting the fashion brand, mm. fashion clothing, and then you're removing your clothes over and over again. And the client was saying I was going to wear 70 hours for 10,000. 
Please, I have to press my calculator. So let me press my calculator. Um, how much? How oh much is that? God. How? It's so far, just so how like, do you want so someone else to And you say some people say, eh, hey, it's not just, oh, they say, come and help me do this. It's not no, help. Uh, some people say, oh, precious, you know you're my friend. I know mm. you're big. I know you do this. I know just help me do it. I'll pay your account. I'm like, how do you can't pay? pay? Like, how do you, I'm paying rent. I I'm paying rent. Like, you have to pay. You need to actually know, okay, you take care of your skin. You're going to transport, feeding, all those mm. things. Like, there are so many things. So when you're charging clients, have this thing at the back of your mind that you need to sort all these things out. So when someone now come and tell you that they'll pay you 7k for you to do 70 clothes, ha ba. Ha ba. Okay. So the very last one now is talking about like jobs, how people perceive jobs for new models. Some people yeah, think that like we yes, always have back to back. Yeah. Well, well, since my Sometimes you won't be depressed. To to sing. I think I've been getting jobs. I have. Every been, day. But I won't say every day. That's the thing. That was a friend to Sometimes. Say, like, some I'm people will not be advising you that. Sure, you don't want to do 9 to 5 job like this. So oh, that please. You can get but trust me, creatives. I feel like creatives will make way more money. I don't want to argue this one. Creatives make way more money. Okay. But it's not like steady. Some, mm. Like, throughout this week now, like, there are some weeks that, in fact, if I, let me say, a whole month, I could be working almost every day. I have this person in that person in like, mm. And the other month, it's just maybe once a week that I'll have job, but, but I've made a lot of money last month though. But this month, I did, I'm not making that much money. <laughs> so how does it feel like? Um, I work for. I can be very busy sometimes, so most times some of my clients will always book ahead, so I don't have to prioritize myself. But it doesn't mean I'm always working back to. Yes, you have to book ahead. But it doesn't you mean you always can't working just call back me to back. and then you me to be. Except if the money is good. After all, it's my work. So it doesn't mean I walk back to back, that some days I'm just free, you know, do something at home or just do something creative at home or even try to read a book or something. Yeah, but, you have time for yourself as but, well. Exactly. But I mean, I, I was born to actually live my dreams, you know, not to come and kill myself 9 to 5. No, I'm not going to pack it. So, we just live so our to... talent. Okay. I want to ask you two questions, just two questions because okay. of time. So, do you think models get to keep clothes? Um, it depends on the client. It depends on the client. And the pay too. And the pay too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's for commercial fun. side. Okay. For high fashion, almost never. Almost never. Oh. Is this thing true that mm -hmm. models keep it? They are clients, they are photographers, they are you know, clients like to get jobs. To be honest, to be very honest, we have wrong with fashion, like we do high fashion. Mm -hmm. And then we have male stylists or yeah, male stylists and then mm -hmm. the model is trying to change her outfit to put on another outfit oh, okay. and she's about hitting the wrong way. No, nobody, nobody really cares. Nobody, nobody I'm really I'm cares. talking about to get jobs, like something. No. Ah, no, okay, no, no way. Why should you have to do that? I'm telling you that some people do. I was afraid that some people don't get the job. Eventually, some I hear people that. Don't. I hear that in the movie industry, or even when I even remember when I was told my parents I wanted to be a model. I wanted my top one to be a model. And the first person I get is, are you willing to pay the sacrifice? Do you get? And I'm like, what sacrifice? Look, that's because it happens. It's fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let it carry yourself with so much grace. If you carry yourself with so much grace, you won't even those kind of things. So mm, yeah. You definitely try, but but you won't agree. You won't agree. It's still your own opinion. It's still what you want for yourself. And just don't go around being desperate to be a model. Just go at your own pace. Do your best. Be good. Be so good that they cannot even ignore you. I think that's my mantra. I try to work extremely hard and be better. That you can't just ignore my work. So. so We've heard it from precious guys. Be so okay. good so that they will not be able to ignore you. Okay. Like me. <laughs> I'm still working though. I'm still yeah, obviously there. we're not there yet, I'm but like there. we're still we're we're working progress. But please don't don't let anybody no, don't even let anybody stop your self-esteem because of what you're saying. It's let me even tell you the honest truth, guys. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even get all the jobs. I go for the show, I don't even get picked. But I just see it as the job is not destined for me. Yeah. Something bigger is coming my way. So you should if you don't, get, if you don't get a job, don't feel so yeah. bad. Like maybe you have something is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you. Just keep working. You just know what the client wants for that particular. And at that moment, 
because you are awesome you are good you just believe in yourself so thank you so much for watching till the end of this video thank you i hope you have learned like a lot of things about screen model what it's like in our lives our work you know things clients say to us things people assume mm -hmm. and so many things it's not all rosy but um, we're trying our best right yeah, yeah. right yeah. all right watch out for us because we are about to take over nigeria Amen. and the world <laughs> all right thank you so much Amen. for watching if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video to other people bye